Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Mark, and this is my food haul from a recent trip to a local farmer's market where I bought things like jalapenos that are so much more delicious when they're fresh than anything you'd get at a grocery store. And this corn, it's gorgeous, it's got great color, and when I pull this thing open, it smells so sweet that I can't wait to cook it up and eat it tonight for dinner. But beyond, you know, supporting local farmers at the farmer's market and buying fresh produce for my family, I love buying fresh produce because I love to take photo references of it. I take a picture of it and put it in a photo library that I keep on my computer. I have thousands of photo references that I keep. Food, holiday items, trees, car parts, office supplies, all kinds of things. But sometimes, especially with food, you kind of need to clean them up a bit, and that is food styling. Getting this thing ready for photographing. Here I'm using this concoction of water, honey, and vinegar, and I'm going to clean this up and it gives it a nice matte finish. I'm going to use this sandpaper to burnish off the flawed areas to get this thing looking really sharp and, and to bring that really beautiful magenta color right out from the surface of the beet. Now I'm not doing a full styling, I'm just cleaning it up for demonstration so you can see what I'm talking about. But you can see that beautiful color is so much better than looking at this kind of gnarly flawed area. And so if I just spray a little more water on this, I can also get a photograph with highlights. So if I do want to do a fine art painting or something later, I can, you know, see the highlights and shadows and things like that. Early in my career, I worked as an assistant for a food stylist who worked for a photographer. And she taught me all kinds of tricks and techniques that she used in how to pose and manipulate products to look great for photographs. Like, for example, this leaf, those veins going up through the green, it's beautiful and it has to be shown very clearly if you're going to have a good photo reference. So what I do is I pull out the bad stuff, you know, this limp and kind of ripped leaves, and I want to show only the, the best I can find. Now these aren't the best leaves because I just bought them, but uh, you know, I'll twist this leaf around and that's a pretty good reference to have in my photo library of beet leaves. So I can see the veins going up through the leaf and the beautiful colors and such. So what's the point of having all these, you know, photographs of vegetables and, and fruit and things like that? Well, photo references are great for me. And again, I have thousands of these in different albums. And what I do is I draw these things and I sell them. How do I sell them? Well, I don't draw this beet or I didn't draw the corn. I won't draw them as fine art objects. They're not going to take me hours and hours to draw. I don't care about spending that kind of time when it comes to stock art and that's what I sell these drawings as. So what I do is I do a very stylized quick down and dirty drawing of these carrots or the corn or the beet or whatever. I'll do a quick drawing of it and then I will scan it into my computer or I'll take a snapshot of it with you know my iPad or something and whether I do an ink drawing or I draw it in Photoshop or on my iPad or whatever doesn't matter. What the end use is I'm going to put that into vector format. And what vector format is, it's a usable format that somebody can resize and recolor the illustration however they want once they buy it. And who's buying this stuff? Well, you've got graphic designers and art directors out there all over the planet who are buying stock art. Now, there are, there are stock photographers and there are stock illustrators. I like to sell my stock illustration. And like I said, I have thousands of different subjects, whether it's food or electronics or office supplies. You know, selling to websites like Getty Images or iStock Photo or any of the, the galleries that you can find online, people will pay for your images if it's what they're looking for. So it has to be referenced and it has to be relevant to what they're looking for. So, you know, taking the time to, you know, style the food that I'm shooting uh, is great for my photo library, but I also want it to be fairly accurate too. So things like carrot leaves or herbs and things like that, like thyme or rosemary, I want to know how to draw them accurately. So I will, you know, take the time and I'll take another photo reference of just these leaves. So here you can see it's a great photo reference of just carrot leaves, which are really intricate when you really look at it. And I will draw it and I will get familiar with it and I will, I'll, learn how to draw carrot leaves so I'll have that you know going forward. So this cucumber is beautiful. I love these greens, the dark to, to limey colored green and the dimples and the highlights on it. Just beautiful. 
But with regard to stock image libraries, you know, art directors and graphic designers, most of them don't have time or don't have enough skill to draw the artwork they need on their own. They need something quick and dirty and they just want to go out and get it. For example, when you go into a grocery store and look at the signage, there's, you know, photographs of food that they didn't take in that store. You know that. <laughs> it's coming from some ad agency somewhere. And that ad agency doesn't have the time to sit around and photograph food. So they're going to buy stock images of food. A lot of grocery stores don't want to use photographs. They want to be more kind of stylized. So they'll buy illustrations and their illustrations are kind of funky. And that's what I do. I do stylized illustration stuff. And I'll show you some at the end of the video of what I mean. But, uh, you know, something like this banana here, it's got great color. But having a nice styled image and a nice styled photo reference here, I'm going to prop it up with this cap to get under lighting. For me, this is key. I love having this kind of a stock image in my library that I can now illustrate, turn into vector art, put it on my, my gallery on one of the, uh, the online services, and hopefully somebody will buy it. Now, you're not going to get a lot of money for each one of these. It's very little money. But the thing is, if you have thousands and thousands of images to sell, then the chances are more and more people are going to buy your work, which adds up over time. And you don't have to do anything. Once you upload it, it's done. You're, you're done with it. So my suggestion is if you have free time or downtime and you don't know what to do or what to draw, draw some stock art and start a library of your own. And once you have enough, you know, artwork, you can then upload it and start an account online. And, you know, learning how to food style just enhances your reference library. And for me, that's what I've been doing for a long time. And I love it. So if you have any questions or comments or thoughts, please feed them down below in the comment section. I would love to address them down there. And, uh, you know, with, with stock libraries, it's not a guaranteed thing. So I don't want you to think that it's a, it's a, it's a guaranteed moneymaker for you. It takes a lot of time. It is work and it is effort. And it takes people looking at your stuff and saying, yes, that's what I want to buy. So I would suggest go to those stock library sites like Getty Images or iStock Photo and take a look and see what other people are doing. And then maybe you can uh, figure that out for yourself if that's something you'd want to do. Thank you so much for coming by today and checking out this video. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. And I would love to bring you more information on this topic and others. And uh, if you like the music you heard, please check out um, the link below where you can get this music for free. And again, thank you so much for coming by. I hope this was helpful for you. Take care and God bless.